Hi there, I'm Dave Higgins. This video is just a quick overview of the painting process. I will be producing other videos that will go into detail on each step of the process to help you learn how to create a painting. One of the first things I usually do is check the image size. If the image size is too large, it will adversely affect the performance of the drawing process. I usually try and work at a resolution of 72 and an image size no less than half of what I want the final product to be. The next step is to set up your layers. We need to add layers in. We're never going to paint on the reference layer. We're going to paint on new layers. You want to move your reference layer to the top. We want to reduce the opacity so that we can see through it to see what we're painting. Then we want to lock that layer to make sure we don't inadvertently paint on it. Now we want to add an underpainting layer where we just add a bright color. I usually use a yellow-orange. And what this does is any place the painting doesn't cover the image, the yellow will show through. We need to now go to the brush tool and select the mixing brush, which is the brush we usually use for painting. Then we have to select the brush style, and in this case I'm going to use the fan brush. Now it's very important that we start with a very large brush setting, because we'll reduce it as we want to bring detail in. Then I want to set my wet to 100%. Now we'll start painting. The object is to break the image up, so I'm using the large brush, I'm using sort of a circular motion, and I'm trying to break up the detail. Now we can check back at the reference layer and see what it looks like. Then I'm going to go to a smaller brush size and bring more detail in, check it again. We keep doing this until we get the painting broken up into the way we want it to be. Now you can turn off the reference layer and actually work on the painting layer to bring in detail only from what you have on the canvas, not from the reference image. Now we're going to go to a smaller brush and try and bring in more detail. I'm just going to work the edges of the image to try and define the edges a little bit better. We can work these up and then we want to turn off our reference layer so that we can see the results. Turn it back on and continue to work. I'm just trying to bring in the detail or only where I want it to be. Check it again. See what each layer is doing. Back up through. Turn the reference layer off and now I'm working only on the image. I'm only working on what we have painted not from the reference image. This allows me to do more blending. Turn the reference image back on to bring in any, any more information that I need. Click back and forth. Keep working it, breaking it up trying to create the painterly look. Remember the object is not to copy the reference image but to create a painting from the reference image. So now I'm going in, I'm only working on the painted layer. Turn it back and forth, see what you got. Check things out. Okay, now we want to change the color of the image. I want to brighten it up. So I'm going to go in and adjust the values and try and bring some of the color up. Now I'm going to bring a little bit of highlight in there, try and give it a little bit more pop. Now we're going to adjust the color balance of the image. I want to warm up the whole image, bring it more into a warmer color temperature. It's more pleasing that way, and I can do that. I can put the color exactly where I want it to be. Check the image before and after. See what you like it, if it's alright. If not, you can go back in and do any other adjustments or workovers that you need. Mm -hmm. 